everyone, it's that time of the week again. It's time to let Mrs. G help you out at home learning your spelling so we can get into the 8 out of 8 club. Now, this week's spellings are common exception words. We're going to start looking in more detail at our year 2 common exception words. These are tricky words that often don't look the way they sound. Reading lots and lots will help you to recognise them too. And don't forget, you can come back and watch this video as many times as you need to this week. That's why we record them for you, okay? So, the first word we are going to learn, which we have looked about in, at in class a lot, is people. People. Which one is the right way to spell people? What does Mrs. Anderson say to help us remember this? She says people, doesn't she? Which one is the right way to spell people? Think about where you've read that in a word. In a book, have you seen that word in a book? The wonderful world of words. We've got to read as much as we can. Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? That's it, it's number two. In this word, E and O are making an E sound. We know double trouble, UL, we could probably have guessed that, but it's the E and the O that make that a hard word. P-E-O-P-L-E, -E, people, or as Mrs. Anderson says, people. Which one says behind? Behind. Now this one has a word inside of a word, the little word be. I want to be a dancer when I'm grow grown up. Not the animal bee, not the insect bee, but it's words inside of words. Think, think, think. Have you seen the word behind in class or in a book? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? Pause the video if you need more time. That's it, number three. It's got the word B, which is B-E spells B, just like M-E spells me, and S and sh E spells she, B-E-H-I-N-D. It's the beginning of that word that makes it tricky. The rest of it, you can use your phoneme fingers. Well done. What about many? Now, this would be so easy if it was an E. That's what's tricky about this word. Okay. Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? We might say many at school to help you. But you've got to remember when we hear the E at the end of a word, it's usually one letter. Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? That's it. Number one. M-A-N-Y and it's got the little word any inside it. Well done. Now this is one we haven't looked at yet in year two but we're going to be doing prove, prove and it's the oove sound which is tricky for this word but we could use what we know about other words to help us here. If you know how to spell move, prove follows the same rule. Move and prove Okay, do you think it's number one, number two, number three, or number four? Don't forget, if you get it wrong, there's nothing will happen. You just practice again. Are you ready to see what number it is? It was number four. P-R-O-V-E. So O-V-E is making the oove sound. Well done. Oh, we've seen this one in class, haven't we? How do we spell could? Now, we say in class, oh, you little duck, because there's an O and a U, and then... The beginning letters for little and duck, if that gives you a clue, could. We have seen this a lot, a lot in year two. Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? Pause the video if you need more time. The answer is number four, C-O-U-L-D. Fantastic. Now, if you can spell could, you can spell should. Which one is the right way to spell should? Oh, you little duck. It follows the same pattern. Number one, number two, number three, or number four. Think you've spotted it? Well done. It was number one. S-H-O-U-L-D. And the O-U-L-D is why we say, oh, you little duck. Okay. So, if you can spell could and you can spell should, can you spell would? We would love it if it Father Christmas came today. Um, not that long now, though, year two. How do we spell would? Number one, number two, number three, or number four. Thinking about, oh, you little duck to help you. Think you've got it? Number two, well done. W-O-U-L-D. Fantastic. How do we spell another? Another. Now, we've got really good in class spelling the word other, which we've learned that it's not an uh at the beginning. And this word has got the word other inside it. And listen to the end sound as well. Er, the wetter the better. Er, another, another. It's that uh sound which makes this hard. Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? There it is, number three. Can you see the word other inside there? A-N-O-T-H-E-R, fantastic. What about break? Again, another one we've not really looked at yet in year two. 
Have you seen it anywhere before? Have a lucky guess. Think about it. We'll be learning a little bit more about the sound soon. Do you think it's number one, number two, number three, or number four? B r a k, and it's the a sound that is tricking us here because it's not any that we would usually go to. Isn't spelling so tricky? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? Shall I show you? It's number one. B r e a k, and e and a is saying a there. Now, if you can spell break, if you can remember e a, you should be able to spell great, like great work. Mrs G often writes that on your work. Is it number one, number two, number three, or number four? G eight. Think about how we spelt break. Great. Think you've spotted it? It's number three. G r e a t. Well done. Okay, now you can either just count the words, you see each word spelt correctly on the board, or you can write it down as many times as it's correct on my board. This will help you store these sight words to your memory. Are you ready? How many times is the word people spelt correctly on the board? Pause the video if you need more time. People. People. Really think. Get that picture of that word in your head. Pause the video if you need more time. Okay, here's how many times people were spelt properly. P E O P L E. One, two, three, four. Well done if you got that four times. How many times is the word behind spelt properly? Pause the video if you need more time. Count, count them and shout the number or write it down as many times as it's correct. It's totally up to you. Behind. B E H I N D. We had it three times. Well spotted. What about many? Many. Look for the little word any to help you with that one. Pause that video if you need more time. Are we ready to see how many times it was spelt correctly? Five times. M A N Y. Well done, well spotted. What about prove? Prove. Thinking about the oove, like in move. Prove. Can you remember what it looked like? Have you got your spelling book in front of you? you? Could help yourself by looking for it as well. Are you ready to see? P R O V E. Actually, one, two, three, four, five times. Mrs. G missed that one. Oh dear. I need to read carefully, don't I? What about could? Oh, you little duck. How many times is could spelt properly? Pause the video if you need more time. There you go, C-O-U-L-D, one, two, three, four. Yes, I got them all this time too. <laughs> I need to practice again. What about should? How many times is the word should spelled correctly? S-H-O-U-L-D, oh, you little duck, four times. Well done. Let's make sure Mrs. G's got them all. One, two, three, four. Yes, I did it. What about would? Oh, you little duck. Pause that video if you need more time. Let's have a look. W-O-U-L-D. One, two, three, four times. Well spotted. What about another? Another. Think about the words inside of words. The word other inside of another. Pause that video if you need more time. Here it is. A-N-O-T-H-E-R. One, two, three times. What about break? Break. Look at your spelling book to help you if you're tr tr struggling with this because it is a tricky word. It's a brand new word. Haven't really had time to look at it yet. Break. B R E A K. One, two, three, four times on the board. What about great? Great. It's a bit like break. It's got the same two letters making the A sound, the same digraph. Great. Pause that video if you need more time. G R E A T, and it's there one, two, three, four times. Well done, guys. So, here are today's words people, behind, many, prove, could, should, would, another, break, and great. Leave me a like if you think you'll be getting into eight out of eight this week. And sight words are tricky. Come back as many times as you need to. Bye for now.